All right, folks. Let's get into the news. <laughs> That's right, the news. So yesterday was the 20th straight day of protests in Elizabeth City over the death of Andrew Brown Jr., who was shot and killed by some y'all kind of looking motherfuckers known as the Sheriff's Department of Pasquotank County. And so we've been protesting for 20 days. Uh, today will be day 21 when I leave the house. And so that's three weeks. That's three weeks that we've been out here. And I've been out here every single day because no one else is going out. ABC's not out there. You see ABC in this photo? You see ABC? I don't see ABC. You see CBS? Fuck no. They're, they're motherfucking bitches. They're not going to cover a protest. No one's being violent. No one's breaking windows. They don't give a fuck about us and our demands. And our family members being killed and shot dead. And they don't give a shit. What about Fox? They don't even care. So this is the 20th straight day of peaceful, nonviolent protests in Elizabeth City. I was in the bathroom. And I come out of the bathroom. And I see everyone's walking away. I see, where is everyone going? Oh, right. We're going downtown to shut shit down. That's where we're going, I think. Asterisk. Um, now, again, yesterday... I talked a little bit more at length about the permit situation, so go watch yesterday. If you, I'm not going to reiterate that. I think permits are stupid. I think if uh, you know if, if you're protesting the police and you're letting police dictate what you're allowed to do, I think it's dumb. But I also understand, you know, do permits every day so that something is done every day, and then like hold you know potential other strategies in your back pocket in case of emergency. So I get that as a strategy. I disagree with, but I get it. I understand it. Uh, so, you know, people are marching once again. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, this is another, like, you know, episode of, like, they're going to, like, tell us to cover half the road. Um, while we were going out here, um, there was a part. Uh, that's a little bit forward. Um, but I'll, I'll go into that later. So we went through some residential areas, which, I mean, residential areas are sometimes, a, like, they're a hit or a miss, right? Like, sometimes you get people that get out of their house and into the street, but then also you don't, you know? So it's like, if, and if you don't, you're not really protesting much. And then also it's like, okay, well, the police are following us. Why are we Why are we bringing police into, like, neighborhoods so that, like, the police don't need to be in? You know, so I don't know. Um, I would prefer uh, doing uh, the marches in downtown where all the businesses are. I prefer doing the marches uh, at the bridge. I prefer doing them on, you know, all the roads that have all the, the chain restaurants. That's my preference. Um, but that's just my personal preference. And I think that 90% of people in the crowd also agree with me. Um, so, yeah, so we keep going. Uh, my phone battery is a little low, so I didn't get too much footage. In the, all the footage are like, you know, 10 second clips. But really nothing notable happened yesterday. Uh, like, this is where we were. Uh, when a car drove into oncoming traffic. So a car drove presumably from back here into oncoming traffic uh, this way. So a car like drove upwards this way. And now keep in mind, people were like right here at the time. So like people almost got hit by this car. And uh, did a dumbass prick for brains Felton do anything about that? Nah. Let the, it, like Felton's the guy in the car like right up here, by the way. Like where you see that? That's Felton. That's the lieutenant of the uh, police here. Uh, did he do anything about that? Nah. No, just let him drive off. Uh, so yesterday, uh, I was talking about how Felton said, we want to prevent Charlottesville from ever happening here. Um, and yet, this is two times that Felton has been present for an attempted car attack, and he let them go. Now, I want to remind people that Felton arrested four people for walking too slow. Felton arrested four people for walking too slow. Two people tried to drive into a crowd of protesters. Sorry. I mean, like, they were white. What do you, like, you, you want me to go after the white person? <laughs> no, but seriously. Fuck Felton. I, that need, we need to, like, understand. This guy's a bitch motherfucker. All of them. On the Elizabeth City Police. Bitch mother fuckers they're not our friends they want to kill us they actively strategize on how to kill us on a daily basis what the fuck don't you people understand right so uh, my battery is a little low uh like we we ended up marching for like what like three hours 
you know, six to what about eight? I don't know. Six to about eight. So I guess two hours. It's not that long, but um, either way, uh, I didn't have my phone battery was a little low and I forgot to bring my spare charger. So I didn't get that many clips, but like it was mostly uneventful. Like again, we went through some of the residential areas, uh, which I personally disagree with. I would rather shut down business districts, but uh, either way we finished. And uh, that, that was basically it. It was a relatively short demonstration. Um, people almost died again. The cops didn't do anything again. And I don't know. We're in this point right now. And again, I mentioned this yesterday, but we have like a serious problem with the liberalization of these protests. People wanting to follow all of the rules, quote unquote, even rules that don't exist. Like it would be like, again, if we're playing Monopoly and I bust out the rule book and, and then like tear it up and say, all right, now there's a new rule where you have to give me all of your money. And then you say, well, what, where's the rule? And then like, I burn the rule book in front of you. Just give me all your money, bitch. At that point, it's not a rule. It's just you're being taken advantage of. And that's what the police are doing. There is nothing that says that we have to march on half the road. It doesn't exist. And when we first did that in the first place, the police said that they would provide a side caravan to prevent people from coming into oncoming traffic. They didn't do that. They didn't hold up their end of the bargain, right? But people are just too scared to do anything. Like, people are just, like, too scared because, we, you know, it's we're in this really awkward point where the protests are definitely being uh, liberalized, absolutely. Um, and I can tell you right now that there are people that are planning more radical protesting. Um, and so, I mean, I'm not going to give any details about that because I know the cops watch my show. And if they don't, then they're dumb, right? So it's like, what are you going to do? But yes, there are like we're, we're planning on doing some shit that doesn't involve getting into the streets every day. We're planning on doing some shit that doesn't involve filing for permits. And we're planning on shit that will disrupt the economy of Elizabeth City. And so, like, you know, I'm just letting you all know that, yes, there is a liberalization of protests going on. Um, but there are people that are saying, fuck that shit, and there's plans uh, to go around it. Um, and now again, I'm not going to divulge any information on that front, but, um, that's the situation. That's what happened yesterday. We had a relatively short March that a lot of people perceived as ineffective. Uh, we picked up a few people, um, but I mean, you know, what are you going to do? I guess, um, either way, uh, today, that is to say the day after yesterday, which is the, co the coverage I just did. Um, the family of Andrew Brown Jr. is presumably going to be seeing more footage, 16 minutes to my understanding, of redacted, heavily cut up, and heavily edited video footage of their like brother, or their father, or their, their husband, or you know whatever, being shot and killed uh, by a terrorist organization. And again, I want to remind everyone, there's been over 20 arrests of protesters. There have been zero arrests of the killers. Now imagine that, right? Imagine that. Imagine the situation is reversed. Imagine someone goes into the police department, kills four cops. Right? Let's, not, let's imagine not someone, a group of people. Goes into the police department, kills four cops. Right? And then the police start protesting and say, why'd you kill our friends? And then instead of arresting the people who killed the cops, we arrest the cops for protesting. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. You need to understand. Like... The badge that these people, the authority, the power that they wield, doesn't matter. It's meaningless. They're humans. We're humans. They murdered someone. They ended someone's life. Who cares if they got a badge? Ooh. Are you dressed? Oh, Halloween's in five months. You dressing up? You practicing your LARP? Fuck that badge. Who gives a fuck about that shit? They came into our neighborhood and they killed someone. That's, at the end of the day, all that matters. And until justice is motherfucking served, until these motherfuckers are in prison, we're not going to let up. Like, you need to understand, there is no, oh, but we were serving a warrant. No, that's an excuse to kill someone. Okay, we had a piece of paper that said we could search this person's car. Did it say that you could kill them? No. Go to jail. You abused your, your, your badge. You were paid money to protect people and you killed them. It would be like, again, if I were a grocery store stalker, like I was like, you know, stocking the watermelons or whatever, right? And a customer says like, 
Oh, how fresh are these watermelons? And then I grab, like, you know, like, the boxing box cutter, and I just, like, slit their throat. And then, like, my manager comes in, and it's like, what are you doing? Why'd you do that? It's like, oh, sorry. Sorry. It was an accident. I was afraid for my life. Sorry. No, motherfucker! The cops would be called, and you'd be in prison for the rest of your life. So I just, like, I need people to understand, there is nothing that actually protects the police. It's all made up. People, slave owners, hundreds of years ago created these police departments, slave patrols, right, as like a cover-up to kill people. They're humans. We're humans. They killed people. They should be held accountable. I don't give a fuck what you are. I don't give a fuck if you're the president. I don't give a fuck if you're a rock star. I don't give a fuck if you're a janitor. I don't give a fuck if you're a celebrity. If you kill someone, you go the fuck to jail, motherfucker. I, I, you know, if you murder someone, I should specify. Like, if you kill someone in self-defense, that's a whole different story. But if you plain, like, commit cold-blooded murder, you should be held accountable. But they're not being held accountable. And that's the motherfucking problem. That's the motherfucking problem, so... Um, and we're not going to stop protesting our government until our government lets up. And our government's not going to let up. I need everyone to understand. I need, if, if you live in Elizabeth City and you're watching my show, Hi! I'm your friend, right? I need you to understand. They're not going to do anything. We, like, you need, like, there is no, they're not going to release the full tape. It's not going to be released to the public. They're not going to arrest the officers. None of that is going to happen. And you need to be, a, you need to be aware of that. That's not going to happen. Like, they're not going to arrest them. They're not going to prosecute them. There will be no charges. No one will be going to jail for this, right? That's what you need to understand. And we need to act accordingly, right? Marching around, like, you know, residential neighborhoods where no one is home, that does nothing to get those people arrested. It does nothing to arrest those people. And as, as long as we continue doing that, they're not going to arrest those people. It's just not going to happen. And even if, even if, like, we do super radical protesting, they're still not going to arrest those people. They are not going to listen. They have all the cards. Literally every single card is in their hands, except maybe one. And that one card is the strength in numbers card. And if, as long as we're not getting crowds, the, if we can get crowds of 500 people, maybe we can do something. But until that happens consistently every day again, they're not going to do shit. And so people need to understand that. Uh, but either way, that being said, we, we can't just give up. Was What is giving up do? Okay. Giving up is saying, okay, well, you can just go kill my dad and oh well. You're not going to give up. What are you, a bitch? What are you, a loser? What the fuck? You need to make it your life mission to overthrow the power systems in this country. That's what I'm talking about here, right? I'm saying, yes, we need justice for Andrew Brown. And yes, these individual officers need to be held accountable. But it's not just that. We need to destroy the police state. We need to get rid of these positions of authority. We need to abolish police departments all across, not just America, but the fucking world. Because as long as these people have power, and as long as that power is not checked, they will continue to abuse that power. And until that power is gone, they will abuse it. End of story. That's why you have to abolish the police. It's like cancer, right? Yes, you can get cancer down to a point where it's benign and it's not a worry, but it's still there. At any point, it could grow again, right? And so that's why you need to get rid of that motherfucker. That's what police are. They're a cancer. They're all shit human beings. They're barely human beings. They're rejects. Like, you know when you get a new organ, right? And your body is like, whoa, what the hell is that shit? We got to reject that. Those are the cops. We got to stop taking our anti-rejection medication. And we need to get these motherfuckers out of our communities. They're not humans. They don't, like, they're not participating in our society. They're not walking among us. They're trying to pretend like they're better than us. They're not. They're scum on my shoes. And we need to treat them as such. Anyway, that's what I have to say. Uh, day 20 of protesting was good. And again, I want to say that even though I think that some of the protesting is ineffective, you have to understand, we are still getting together and we are strategizing. And that, I think, is the most important factor is that we are strategizing, right? It's like, it's one thing if, you know, the protests die down and they get a little liberalized and then everyone goes home.
That's one thing. But people aren't going home. Right? People are staying home and they're planning for day 27. They're planning for day 37. They're planning for day 42. They're planning for day 74. Right? So I'm just letting you know, like, yes, like, there are people that are going to show up every day and I'm going to be those people. But also there are people that aren't showing up every day that are planning more demonstrations. There are people, you know. So I need you to understand, yes, a lot of the protesting here has become liberalized, but that's not the only form of protesting. Uh, so... Uh, I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, have we chatted much with the organizer fellow? I've chatted with all the organizers. Um, they all have different opinions. And so anyway, that's the recap. Uh, we'll see how today goes. Again, they are supposed to release more redacted footage to the family of Andrew Brown, so I will be there to see what happens with that. They might just say psych not at the last minute. We'll see, because they said that before. They said, come on down, and then when the family came down, they said psych not, and then, you know, you know so it could happen again. Um, so either way, again, uh, that's, that's the recap. I have nothing else to say, but, um, there you go.